If you're looking for something else besides fish to add to your aquarium, try dwarf shrimp. I absolutely love them and I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of my two favorites, cherry shrimp versus a mono shrimp. Hi, my name is Irene with Girl Talks Fish here with practical tips on nano fish and planted aquariums. And this was a really tough video to make because comparing cherry shrimp to a mono shrimp is kind of like comparing apples to oranges. They both serve very different purposes in an aquarium, in my opinion. For cost, you can pay for as low as a dollar for wild type cherry shrimp that don't have any sort of special color. I saw them at my pet store for about $3.50, all the way up to I'm sure lots and lots of money if it's a really, really high grade cherry shrimp that you're willing to spend a lot of money on because you're trying to breed a competition worthy shrimp. So big range for cherry shrimp versus a mono shrimp there. You're not going to really bring them to a competition. I've seen them ranging from three to six dollars. So for me, it's about a tie because I paid for about three dollars and fifty cents for both of them. In the category of appearance and size, cherry shrimp grow to about an inch in size and they come in almost every color of the rainbow. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing like seeing a green planted tank with tons of red cherry shrimp climbing all over it. That's my favorite type. Versus a mono shrimp, the females can get to about two inches in size and they're mostly a translucent clear with maybe a brownish grayish tinge to it. And then there might be some dots and dashes along the sides. So clearly, I don't think anybody's going to contest that this category goes to the cherry shrimp. Tank size is kind of a hard category to describe because shrimp in general have a really low bio load. So because cherry shrimp are slightly smaller, maybe you could in a two gallon tank keep a few cherry shrimp versus in a mono shrimp maybe one mono shrimp for two gallons i mean in the past i've kept wow up to 100 to 200 cherry shrimp in a cherry shrimp dedicated breeding tank that was 10 gallons versus in my 20 gallon tank i've kept up to six a mono shrimp just because they're just voracious and they eat a lot and you don't want them to outcompete some of the other slower animals so in general i guess the win win kind of goes to cherry shrimp just because you can fit more of them in a small area for the category of lifespan cherry shrimp live about one to two years so it's definitely on the shorter side versus a mono shrimp i've seen numbers ranging from two to four years i mean they definitely have that very strong survival instinct but they also like to escape too so as long as you keep a really tight lid on your aquarium i'm gonna i guess give the win to a mono shrimp because they live slightly longer the water parameters they like are almost identical so i would say i don't know 6.5 to 8.0 ph maybe 70 to 80 degrees fahrenheit although i've heard a mono shrimp can maybe go a little bit lower and then gh they both like harder water with more minerals because they both gotta molt those exoskeletons so in this case they are tied for diet, it's pretty much exactly the same as well because they are both scavengers. So they'll eat anything you throw in the tank, whether it's fish food, shrimp food, vegetables, uh, decaying matter that's inside the tank, you name it, they'll take it. I will mention that a mono shrimp are slightly more aggressive eaters. So if you have them with, again, maybe even other dwarf shrimp like cherry shrimp, make sure you scatter that food around so everybody gets a little something. That brings us to the topic of algae. Who is the better algae eater? In general, cherry shrimp, I've mostly seen them eat softer green and brown algaes as well as biofilm off of surfaces. In fact, I often had juveniles combing the surfaces of the aquarium walls, but I never really saw them make a dent as much. So in my opinion, a mono shrimp are the better algae eater out of the two. They're definitely hungrier. I've seen them go after hair, string algae, even blackbeard algae, but the trick is to make sure they're hungry enough. So you might have to withhold food a little bit to make sure they do their job. Tank mates for shrimp is a tricky topic because they are so many things that like to eat shrimp. And you know, the general rule of thumb is obviously if it's a fish is big enough to fit a shrimp in its mouth, it will eat it. So no to things like, you know, the larger cichlids and so on and so forth. I have successfully kept a mono shrimp with betta fish as long as the tank is big enough and there's enough cover for them to hide. Um, smaller live bears I've been successful with. Really anything that is a nano fish or nano invertebrate, they'll get along with just fine. 
However, cherry shrimp are slightly smaller, so there's more things that can eat them. So definitely my betta fish has gone after cherry shrimp. That can sometimes work, sometimes, if nothing else, they will definitely eat, most fish will definitely eat the baby shrimp. So if you are looking to breed the most amount of shrimp possible, you definitely wanna go for a species only tank. They won't eat their own young, but even things as innocent as a snail. If you have enough snails, they may actually start out competing the fry for food. So just better to play it safe and only keep shrimp. Speaking of which, let's talk about breeding. Obviously cherry shrimp is, they're very easy to breed. They're like freshwater cockroaches, which is great because there is a very, very high demand for them. Almost endless, it seems like. The local fish store I talked to, they were like, thanks for the batch of 50. Can you get us more next week? <laughs> so if you want to breed for profit enough to at least like supplement your hobby a little bit, cherry shrimp is the way to go. Now they will crossbreed with other colors of cherry shrimp. So if you want to keep your line pure, you know, make sure not to mix the colors as well as you may have to do some culling and selection of the best looking parents in order to keep that grade looking really good. A mono shrimp, on the other hand, are very, very rarely bred at home because they require their larvae to grow up in salt water, and then slowly you have to decrease the salt level until it gets to a freshwater amount for the adults. And that exact ratio is not really well documented in a bulletproof recipe. So in general, they're not you can't breed them at home, or at least not easily without a lot of effort. However, the good news is they won't crossbreed with other species of shrimp and you can keep them together. So for breeding, cherry shrimp definitely has the win. So if you've been keeping up with the tally, both shrimp are tied. They have very different purposes where cherry shrimp, they're smaller, they're prettier, more colorful, and great for breeding for profit versus a mono shrimp. They are the workhorses of the planted aquarium. Excellent scavengers, great algae eaters, and you know, they can live with slightly bigger tank mates. I would say my personal preference is I had a ton of fun doing my cherry shrimp breeding project where I bred, you know, hundreds of these things, sold them off, really cute. I was super obsessed into like feeding them and caring for them, but eventually I did move on from cherry shrimp and ended up selling them all off so I could make room for another breeding project. Versus a mono shrimp, I pretty much have always had in almost most of my aquariums and it's because they're just so great at what they do. I need all the help I can get in terms of keeping an aquarium I'm clean of algae and other excess debris in the tank. So I would say I slightly like a mono shrimp more because I'm just a more utilitarian kind of person. I like my pretty things, but I also really like my useful things. Let me know down in the comments which two animals you want me to compare in my next video. And if you missed my previous head-to-head -head comparison, I've got one on autosynclus versus hillstream loaches. Take time to enjoy your shrimp and I'll see you in the next video.